Welcome to GTEC and Grow. So in this lab we'll be looking at how to install SATA devices. So we'll be installing SATA devices. In this lab your task is to install install both hard drives in the computer. Read the motherboard documentation to identify the location of the internal SATA connectors. I would assume you've done what you could do to get to this point of seeking solution to this lab. So I'll go straight to the point without wasting any much time. So when you look at the shelf, shelf you will find the different components kept there and you have the hard drives here. This shows they have two two hard drives so when you open the motherboard you will find out the hard drive slots are not active if this is the case you go straight to the drive bay and you can slot in your both hard drives from here you go to cables you see you have to SATA cables here. We are going to connect the cables. So we have to connect the two cables to the motherboard. But before then, let's just connect the power cables at once. We click on the power supply and go to our SATA cable 50 pin, 15 pins. Let me zoom in so you can have a better view. And another 15 pin. Okay, so I guess we are good with that from the back side from the drive bay now we go back to our motherboard and from the motherboard we've connected the power cables and now we have to connect the the SATA cables for the hard drives let me zoom in again so you can have a better view excuse okay so we have that connected. And you can see. And you have this one also connected. So I guess we have both cables connected. Let's see. Just a moment, it seems there have been a disconnection from the drive bay. Oh, because this this layer pane shows partially connected items, so it means I mistakenly disconnected them. I'll just put that back. okay so the cables have been rightfully connected and the next thing we are supposed to do here is install the e sata port connector into an open expansion slot on the computer and connect the cable to an available motherboard port so we look for the e sata port connectors I always like to zoom in and we have to install it here so it's been installed and we have to connect the 7 pin SATA cable to one of these and it's been successfully installed just in case your video is not very clear you can check out on my channel you'll find a video that shows you how to increase the resolution to have a clearer display of your video on YouTube. 
let's check out the answers and we are done with this lab see you in the next video guys